Tonight, we are hearing from an Idaho man who says he is a victim of a Utah construction theft scheme. New South Specialist Shelby Lofton has been looking into the charges against Derek Johansson, who's accused of stealing skid steers and then selling them to innocent buyers. He appeared today before a judge. Shelby? Johansson was back inside the courtroom today, a place charging documents say he's appeared several times. I talked to an Idaho man who says he's another victim of Johansson's, and he says he hopes history won't repeat itself in this case. Your Honor, Derek Johansson who is in custody. Derek Johansson has been arrested and convicted multiple times for construction thefts. I think he'll just get back out. Miles away in Idaho, Steve Wetchler says he knows how this story ends. This is where his begins. I ran a small business in Idaho. Like countless other alleged victims, Wetchler needed earth moving equipment for his work. He called on a skid steer he found online back in 2020. He says the seller was Derek Johansson. He needed to free up some money because his wife was in the hospital. She had an illness. Wetchler and his wife say they found Johansson to be believable and decided to meet him in person. He pulled up and he's in the skid steer and he's operating that thing like a professional. Before they sealed the deal, they talked to him for two hours, ran the serial number. They came back clean. Asked for ID. Did a notarized bill of sale in front of the notary in the bank and called in his license plates that was not stolen either Wetchler felt like he checked every box so he drove off with his ten thousand dollar purchase my friend calls me back and he says i think that skid steer is stolen and i says boy this is the sickest joke Wetchler says his friend who is a police officer noticed something i got a picture here that looks like the skid steer that you called in it's the same model it's the same make he says, but the serial number is not correct. He says a few digits on the serial number were off, but it turned out to be the same stolen skid steer. So somewhere along the line, a serial number was recorded wrongly. Wessler says he tries to warn others about this scheme so they don't fall victim to what he says are Johansson's tricks. Said that he would pay people back, said that he was going to reform. What, what a bunch of garbage. Johansson's preliminary hearing is scheduled for Monday, March 6th. We'll continue to follow this case and keep you updated on any developments. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.